A French Mirage fighter jet just after takeoff didn't follow its planned trajectory but instead wobbled and rolled unpredictably in the air, a clear sign of abnormal flight. The control tower, noticing the anomaly, called out in distress, but the pilot in the cockpit ignored them, veering off course and accelerating towards the open sea. The pilot even turned off the radio to ignore continuous calls from the ground. Later, the rogue jet accelerated to catch up with a commercial airliner, hiding beneath it to conceal its presence, making it difficult for ground radar to track. At this time, over the North Sea, French ace pilots Antoine and Sebastian were returning from a training mission in their fighters. Upon receiving military orders, they turned their jets towards the area where the Mirage disappeared. As they approached the designated area, they only saw a commercial airliner flying normally, which typically has four contrails. But Antoine with a keen eye spotted a fifth contrail from the Mirage hiding beneath the airliner. The two pilots sped up flanking the Mirage from both sides. Antoine attempted to communicate via radio, but the Mirage pilot, far from responding, provocatively sped away. Irritated, Antoine and Sebastian jointly pursued the Mirage which darted into the clouds. Just when Sebastian thought it had escaped, the Mirage reappeared behind him like a ghost startling him. Sebastian urgently called for Antoine's support. Antoine swiftly maneuvered behind the enemy, gaining a tactical advantage, but the stubborn Mirage clung to Sebastian like a leech. Sensing the Mirage's hostile intent, Antoine requested permission to open fire. Sebastian, horrified, noticed through the onboard radar that the Mirage was about to fire. With no choice he deployed flares while running and Antoine prepared to fire, but ground control issued a no-shooting order. The Mirage shifted from being suspicious to overtly aggressive, as Sebastian detected it arming its infrared missiles. With his teammate in imminent danger, Antoine executed a skillful turn, locking the Mirage in his firing range and without hesitation pressed the cannon fire button. The incident stemmed from an airshow in the UK, where the US and France showcased their F-16 and Mirage 2000 respectively. During a live ammunition demonstration, terrorists covertly killed the designated pilot, intending to hijack the fighter jet for a terror attack. French ace pilots Antoine and Sebastian, realizing something was amiss in the air, decisively shot down the Mirage, unaware that the pilot had been replaced by a terrorist. Their disobedience in shooting down the valuable fighter jet enraged the military brass, leading to their dismissal. They were left with no choice but to make a living flying scenic flights. Meanwhile an arms dealer, aiming to test the performance of different fighter jets, proposed a rematch between the American F-16 and the French Mirage 2000. Considering political factors and flight risks through other countries, the military decided to reinstate the dismissed pilots Antoine and Sebastian to conduct the test, escorting them with two fighters of the same model. Three Mirage flames blazing from their engines glided off the runway into the night. Before crossing over Bangladeshi airspace, they completed aerial refueling ahead of schedule and adopted overlapping flight patterns, deceiving ground radar into mistaking them for a regular commercial airliner. The fighter jets were nearing fuel depletion when radar indicated a nearby abandoned airfield. Without hesitation, they landed only to be surprised by armed guards at the seemingly deserted airfield. The moment they stopped, the three jets were surrounded and their weapons were immediately confiscated by the armed militants. It was revealed that the arms dealer from the beginning was actually a terrorist, who had set a trap. They had killed the pilots intending to hijack the jets for a terror attack, but their plan was foiled by Antoine and Sebastian. The performance test was just a ruse to force the three jets to land at the designated abandoned airfield due to low fuel. Despite their resistance, they were outnumbered. In a moment of quick thinking near the jet belly, Antoine turned off the ignition switch. Another pilot attempted to seize a weapon but was shot dead by the terrorists in the chaos. Antoine and Sebastian were tied up together, giving them a chance to share an escape plan. Early in the morning, Sebastian was rudely awakened by a kick from a terrorist who intended to test drive the fighter jet. Antoine had previously disabled the ignition, and the terrorists forced him to board the jet for a test flight, unaware that this was all part of Antoine's plan. As he flew low over the terrorist base, Antoine executed a dive, utilizing the sonic boom created by low-altitude flight to his advantage. While the terrorists were disoriented, Sebastian took the opportunity to knock them out. After landing, Antoine ejected, sending a terrorist flying into the air. Sebastian started a truck and rushed to the runway, where they both boarded the jets and launched a counterattack. Antoine and Sebastian returned to base. Later, during a European summit, Terrorists planned to infiltrate the show squadron with a fighter jet to launch an attack. Informed of this, Antoine and Sebastian flew to intercept and spotted an out-of-place element within the squadron. To their shock, they discovered through radio communication that the pilot was a former teammate, who had been a terrorist all along. A dogfight ensued above the summit, with the terrorist repeatedly targeting a large refueling aircraft but being thwarted by Antoine each time. Realizing his jet was locked on by Antoine, the terrorist ejected and escaped. With the rogue jet spiraling out of control, Antoine seized the moment as it glided over water, decisively firing a rocket to shoot it down, thus thwarting a major conspiracy. The real terrorist mastermind turned out to be a high-ranking military official, who, after the mission's failure, attempted to flee but was killed by a car bomb already planted in his vehicle.
Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this.